saw two black superheroes on Netflix. I was very excited about that. Can we, hey, can we just talk about that? I'm like, Black Panther didn't opened up a portal. And I've been screaming about black superheroes for a minute. So I was very happy to see all of that. I yeah. really, 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 really was. Um, so what would you say are your feelings about that? Because I, I, obviously, you know how I feel, but I'd love to know how y'all feel about that. I'll start with Tanika first. Okay, so I'll be honest, when I watched Black Panther, I levitated a little bit. I literally was that person who came out of the theater and I was like, you know, like denied. <laughs> I was like, I get the opportunity to do something like that. It actually fueled this dream for me because I was just like, when I saw that, I was like, it's possible. I can do that. So when Jupiter's legacy came around and that opportunity was there, you know, you send out that tape sort of thing, but I always feel like the God, the universe kind of brings back what you prepared for and worked hard mm -hmm. for. So behind the scenes, I was doing a lot of training and, you know, preparing with boxing, martial arts, all that sort of stuff. And I feel like the universe kind of gave me that uh, opportunity. So again, to be an example, to inspire, you know, a generation of youth, just like I was inspired when I watched that movie is a huge responsibility, but also such a blessing to be able to do it. I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful. And, and let's just say you look like Benjamin Buttons because you look like 30 years <laughs> younger all the time. I'm just like, okay, I, I digress, but go ahead, Mike. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, just to kind of touch on what Tanika was saying. I remember before I got this opportunity, uh, just kind of sitting down thinking like, you know, what do I want to do next? Uh, which is something that has been a dream of mine for a while, which is, you know, being a superhero. So I just uh, said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to hit the gym in a different way. I was a little bit leaner and I put on some, some a little bit of size. And, Show, uh, the arms. Show them your arms. <laughs> Please take a look at that. <laughs> oh, guns. <laughs> like AK-47s. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, uh, not too much longer after that. I got this opportunity, yeah. And so I was inspired by Black Panther. And uh, you made me think about, you know, I have comics still at my folks' place. And I think my aunt got me something called Brother Man or something like that. Stop. So I was like, you just made me think of that right now. And, uh, you know, because representation is important. And uh, it's, it's really an honor to, uh, you know, to be in this position right now. Well, Brother Man and Sister Girl. <laughs> It has been my honor. That is my time. I'm hoping that we get to chat again sometime soon and that we have an even longer conversation. But thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you as well. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> to keep up with the Curvy Critic, like our page here, click that subscribe button and click that bell for notifications. Love, peace and hair.